Hi, and welcome back. Today we have a very, very unique fungus. This one is part of a group of fungus called coral fungi. And this one here is called the white coral fungus. You can see it's very unique as it's not really sharing the similar features to fungus that we've been discussing like gills or even um, spongy pore surfaces or stalks and caps but you can see it literally looks like underwater coral just growing out of the ground here and you can see there's a few of them a few clusters popping up very young ones here and uh, I couldn't help myself but to share this with you and I'll have some details of this fungus below it is considered edible the white coral fungus um, yeah not not much to to discuss about it other than it literally looks like a coral white coral <laughs> pretty cool eh um, so make sure to take your time to read through the description below and um, this is a very very small fungus and it tends to stay very low to the ground so but what we do know from looking at this fungus is we can say that it is a mycorrhizal fungus as you can see it's not growing out of any particular wood surface unless there is a buried log here which is is uh, hard to say but from what I can see and from what I've seen with this growing in a few other places as well it looks to me to be a mycorrhizal fungus which I discussed a little bit in the last video and I'll just recap real quick on mycorrhizal. Mycorrhizal aren't actually decomposing any material here but they're actually working symbiotically with the plants and trees around it exchanging nutrients for water and other beneficial um, resources so pretty cool the white coral fungus it is edible have not tried it but maybe i'll do a video coming up soon of uh, how to prepare this how to cook it up and what it tastes like so if you enjoyed guys remember to uh, hit the like for me and share it with your buddies who like this kind of stuff too i could use the support i'm kind of a very small channel and I know I don't make the best videos but um, I do really enjoy this stuff and uh, I'd love to have a few more people checking me out so thanks guys and I hope everybody's doing great take care and we'll see you very soon this one here is called the yellow um, or golden coral mushroom and you can see some there see a little bit more there more there some little guys right next to the wax caps there now this stuff is considered edible but only in very small amounts so it's not really a desirable edible mushroom but it's still good to have it in your head there just to be able to be like oh yeah I know that coral fungus so this one here is often confused for Romania from Bosa. I forgot the name already. Um, the tan coral fungus, I'll call it, even though it's usually called yellow tipped or a few, a few other names as well. But in my area, it's often very tan. So this one here is very gold in color, very brilliant. So. I, I, I don't see how too many people can confuse it, but maybe with age this turns very blandish in color. But here you can see the golden coral fungus right here. And just over literally two feet away is the very poisonous one, the yellow tipped fungus, coral fungus. So they can grow, you know, literally right next to each other so just keep that in mind as well but I thought I would feature all these as now is their prominent time for showing up and uh, again make sure to check out the description have some more um, information 
on this mushroom blow. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more. We'll see you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. This is a tiny coral fungus known as Romeria vermosa, also known as the yellow-tipped coral fungus, and it has a few other names. Um, this is an extremely poisonous coral fungus, and it often features this tan-like appearance, at least in my area, and closer down near the base of it, you'll see that it has a whitish base. Um, so just if you're um, harvesting any edible corus, coral fungus, just keep this one in mind. It's often more tannish in color, very small, and extremely toxic. So be very careful. Um, here's some larger fruiting bodies, and you can see uh, it's growing here as well. Just a little bit there. And I know there's some more somewhere here. <clears throat> ah, right here. So very small bits of it, um, but extremely poisonous, so just be very careful. I will have details for you below on that, um, just in case you're worried. And um, just a quick little video for you guys. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.